ghost door. Spooky. Oh, it had one of those automated spring thingies. Welcome back to chapter 8 of The Quarry! The belly of the beast! That's me when I'm hangry. <laughs> Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up. What a rude. Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We have been over this. I don't want him to be such an asshole. So let's go with... Yeah, because I think he really would ask Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin? What do I do? Oh, wow. Real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up! <laughs> oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. Look, just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Honestly, all this over a poem? Ryan! Right, she saw the werewolf! You saw the- You saw the werewolf! Like, I would get it if no one would be dead. You saw nothing. You just saw that Abby is dead. Maybe, you know. But you saw Nick turn into a werewolf and kill Abby. Why would you not believe Laura? I don't- Ryan, what's going on? What's going on with these characters? S seeing! The evidence, hearing the evidence, and then being like, I don't know, <laughs> sounds a little bit, can I really trust you? No, you don't even have to trust her, Ryan. You can just believe her. No, wait, you can just believe what you saw. That's it. <laughs> Hold up, you, you said you heard a woman crying oh. when you escaped? Why? What do you know? The hag of Hackett's quarry. Let's be honest. I want to dive into this. I want to see if we can get the fortune teller mad because I want to see if she actually is part of the story. Just reminds me of a local story I know. The hag of Hackett's quarry. A woman in the woods. They say that she died years ago and now she sort of roams the darkness waiting for her lost boy. These guys hate it when I talk about it. You've seen her. No. I don't know. But I heard this thing back at the police station. A, a podcast. Zarya Bonafide? Yeah, that's it. It looks like Travis was keeping an eye on it. Why? Maybe it's more than a story. Look, all I can tell you for sure is that whatever's happening at Hackett's Quarry runs deeper than you know. Just gonna go right ahead and take that back from you there. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. Okay, first of all, Laura, that's not how you handle a shotgun, you know? You don't just flip it around like you're some weird action movie hero. I know, we're playing a horror game, but still. Come on, <laughs> Laura. That's ridiculous, you know? That's why I trust Caitlyn more with guns than anyone else in this game. Maybe the two hunters, but now that I know that they're also possibly kidnappers, horrible people. Hmm. And second of all, yeah, why did the Hackets want to suppress the I thought initially they wanted to suppress the podcast because then more people would go to the forest, you know, and see what's it about because that ghost hunters, you know, kids with their TikToks and their Instagram and all that modern kerfuffle. But maybe they all also did it because they actually know what's behind it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guarded. What makes you think I know? I wouldn't tell you. No, let's be... Oh man, I, I hate... Horrible Ryan, so I will be nicer. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. There's a spooky Dude. house? What? It's the first time we saw that. 
Have you thought about not killing him? Compassionate. Maybe there's another way. Yes. Let's be. Let's be compassionate. That's me. Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. True love's kiss. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Okay, any closer one of the spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh, yeah, what they said. I don't think Chris is the original. Also, I'm so thankful that apparently Dylan is completely fine, so I didn't even have to hack his arm off to save him. I think he's all right for now. So let's keep him safe. Him and Caitlin, that's the two people I actually care about most. I want to keep them safe and the rest, well, I will not deliberately kill you, but I will also do it, you know, with less motivation. <laughs> um, <laughs> Chris has nothing to do with this. No way, you're going alone. Yeah, let's do this. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? Ugh, what? Laura. No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Still nodding. He's gonna be fine. In the shadows. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Uh, Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. I don't trust this because even though she acts like she's a some sort of superhero, you know, she really isn't. She's not. She killed a teenage werewolf. Are you sure werewolf. this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Uh, have you been there? Yes. Let's be nice. Let's try to make nice with these characters because I think it will positively impact how we play this game and how they will react. Also, wait a minute. I just had a thought and now it's gone, but it was important. Well, I will <laughs> maybe I keep thinking of it again. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. Oh, yes. Um, How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. Rage, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Teacher's pet. Why are you like this? I mean, Ryan, Chris Hackett's brother kidnapped these two kids. Chris Hackett bit Laura's boyfriend and turned him into a werewolf because Chris Hackett is a werewolf. Ryan, what's going on? This is like, oh my god, this is like gaslighting levels of Ryan not getting it. Look, I get it. Chris was nice to you. You know what? Abusers can be nice. I do think that getting behind the secret of the hack of Hackett's Quarry might be the way to solve this without more violence than necessary. You know, without killing all the werewolves. I think that's what we are getting at here. But Ryan, honestly, is a horrible, horrible person. And I know everyone's under stress. Everyone's under shock. You know, everyone's like... Lucy goosey with all their emotions because it's been a night, but holy shit, it would drive me bonkers to have someone like Ryan in the face of all the evidence not getting it. 
Like, yeah, he helped you sort out some personal shit. But he's also a werewolf, like... You know? <sighs> but let's be nice. <laughs> Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. If we can't find another way. Lead the way. Gosh. Are there really people like that out there? Like Emma and Ryan, they're on another level when it comes to facts. And no, I have different feelings than these facts. There it is. Like your house. It is. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the mm. woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. Yeah. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house. That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Oh. Also, who's the mom? Will we get another character? Is she already? D is it a Bates Hotel situation? You know that she's just a skeleton. <laughs> in a corner um or is she actually the woman with the with the hunters hmm and they're all on the same side but she's so angry at the whole werewolf part but still tries to keep it together because they had those cages so apparently they don't trap the werewolves to kill them but then she talked about that werewolf like oh, disgusting filthy animals or whatever and that's not how you talk about your family. But it wasn't our family, it was Nick. But still, you know. Ah, huh, weird. Okay, compassionate. Look, <laughs> I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. Hey, where are you going? You're on a timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. I got you! Careful, it's gonna go! Oh! I found the way! Ow! Ah, okay, it's water. Well, that's a lucky coincidence. Holy oh! Shit. Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Right. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax, look. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You have grandma? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh shit! Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? I mean, shit. we haven't got much time. Okay, so she was really bit, not like Dylan. Yeah, I'm walking everywhere because that's what the game wants me to do. So waste a lot of time with shit, but look, there's a box, so it was worth it. Also, I'm sorry I pause a lot and talk a lot. I have theories, you know, and they talk a lot, so I can't, I don't want to talk over it. So that's how it is. Oop. This must be part of the old working quarry. 
Miner's Lunchbox. The forgotten belongings of a quarry miner abandoned in the tunnels, a letter of foreclosure wi within indicates that this has been down here since the 1930s. I don't get why you can't put a, like a proper st thing, background behind the text, because we had that a few times where it was... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Makes sense. And click it again, because we want to read it. Bloop. Dear valued employee, I regret to inform you that your services at Hackett's Quarry will no longer be required. It is my intention to return the site of the central quarry to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing a lake to form in its place. You will be paid until the end of this coming week and then asked to vacate the premises. I'd like to thank you for your continued loyalty and wish you well in all your future endeavors. Yours faithfully, Septimus Hackett. Tight bastard, just can't pay us. Last time I trust the Hackett. So here's the thing, because this is a really old note, I think. I would say the werewolf thing or something unsavory has been going on for longer than Chris. Like, I, I stay with my theory that it's it doesn't end with Chris. And I wish Laura would have talked more to um, Taylor, Tyler, T. Hackett to find out. It's old mining equipment, all right. Pick one. These must have. Sorry. These rusty old tools are leftovers from the Hackett's industrial heyday before the miner mines foreclosure. And from the quarry days. No duh. Take one. No one's been down here for years. Ryan, take one. You don't have a weapon. And these heavy mining tools, they're probably even- Hey, no! Hey, no. No, Laura. They're probably better than Laura's shotgun. Because, you know, you can wield it better. And it's, uh, on close encounters, you can still hurt. A lot that was horrible grandma. I don't know. Also, I'm so sorry about the previous episode. I don't know what was going on with me, but I was not on my best when it comes to commentary and everything. What is that? Is that you, Ryan, making this fuss? Very loud. Oh, but I'm loud as well, okay. That sounds... That it sounds like Len huh. Shay. Who? The hag of Hackett's quarry. It's like she's warning us off. Is she though? It's or a name. Us. Shit. You think anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. That's his humor. Didn't laugh at any of Dylan's jokes. Careful. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm quite sure if someone heard, they heard us stomping along the stairs I mean that's that shit is echoey ah ha 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 the lovers <gasps> she's eating his arm wow yeah I missed a lot of tarot cards I'm not it is what it is just look at this place What was that? Did I see? Was it a hand? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. Okay, let's go. 
Does she also have the, has a thing for Ryan? Man, he, he, he is probably really charismatic in person. Because I don't get it. Was there something? No, that was just light reflection. Okay. Ugh, itchy nose. Oh my god, itchy nose. Ugh. Oh boy, this is high. Whoa. It is, isn't it? Let's walk around. But, ha! Yeah. Ew! Ew, why would you pick that you up? I think actually something is in here with us. No, Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. <sighs> That's what I I wanted to. <sighs> is it there? Um, scarred flesh. A lump of what appears to be damaged or scarred flesh. I don't get why the queue is only active while they are talking. So I ha I'm like I'm forced to interrupt the speech to read it immediately. Otherwise, I have to. I mean, getting into the menu, etc. That's not the problem. It's more a UI usability thing. That it doesn't make sense, you know, that it doesn't even stay a few seconds after. Damage or scarred flesh. Also, she held it like, ew, it's disgusting. So what? First she was like, uh, Jill Valentine, and now that she's a, a werewolf, she's like, gore doesn't matter anymore. That's, she's weird. I don't know. I don't, I'm not warming up to her. <laughs> Like her relationship with Bags, that's down. adorable. But her with the other, the rest of the group is kind of not my thing. Well, where's Cave out? Wow. <laughs> Look who's finding their funny bone. Yeah, that's not a funny bone he found. That was just a, a bombing. But okay, I don't. So what's your deal? Have then? one either. What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Oh. oh! Oh, okay, I thought it was something dangerous. Someone's been eating their spinach. <laughs> so, you want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? If anyone's watching this who's younger, much younger than I am, for reference, I'm 38 years old. I get a Popeye joke, of course. But I figure these characters are in their early 20s, at most. W would you, if anyone is watching who's a lot younger than I am, do you get a Popeye reference? Or do you think that was just kind of old writers showing that they are old writers writing for young characters? <laughs> Looks promising. That's a gigantic spider's web. I want to see that spider and congratulate it for its amazing work. Look at this! Is it just one or just the whole group work situation? There's so much cool stuff here. We're not talking about anything of this. Aww. Like, look at this. I would look into those. Hmm. Look, it's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Careful. Splinters. <laughs> Thanks. I'm fine. <clears throat> Is it alcohol? Did they bootleg? Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From prohibition. These are run running tunnels. Yes. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. 
Well, I guess the Hackett's were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are done, they branched out. Come on, time travel later. So that's why um, they said the miners should leave that place because they were using it to bootleg. You think this is it? Uh, beats me. I'm pretty much completely lost. <sighs> yeah, me too. Shall we? Hello! <laughs> No? Oh. oh. Oh, Caitlin, I hardly knew ya. We really have not played as her a lot. Dylan and Caitlin uh, have been abandoned a bit. What happened here? Eh, it's complicated. Gosh. I used to think this place was so cozy. This place, really? Yeah, it reminded me of a ski lodge. Sounds... Cold. <laughs> but you've never fantasized about being trapped on a remote ski resort in a snowstorm? Oh, yeah. The cable car is broken and you've only got each other for warmth. And when the food runs out, oh. you've only got each other. Weird fantasy. I thought more of, like, having books and coffee, you know, being alone. <laughs> but I guess that's different personality types. So, Caitlin and I have different ideas of, you know cool fantasies about getting stuck in a lodge. Uh, maybe it'll come true, defensive, no weirder than this. I'll be nice. A ski vacation does sound pretty nice right about now, though, huh? <coughs> you ever been? Skiing? <laughs> Don't know the first thing about it. A couple trips down the bunny slope, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, well then, we better get this van up and running then, huh? You know what's cool about her? She could be mad at Dylan for, you know, flirting with Ryan, etc. But she totally isn't. That's so mature, you know, it's really nice. Wait. What? Is there... Is there something in there? I don't know. Maybe Emma? What is it? I... Jacob? Emma? Are they... What else do we have on Should the run? I open it up? Your funeral, buddy. Oh, Dylan, don't, don't do it. No. Maybe it's an animal because it doesn't sound big. <laughs> oh, she makes me! She makes me! Oh. Hey, it's us! Oh, oh shit! It burns! Oh my god! Oh. I, wait, I'm wait. so sorry. Dylan, I am so, so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared and I thought... It's not Mace. What? Air freshener. That would still oh. fucking hurt in your eyes. Because yeah. air freshener is alcohol. That's all I could find in the van. It should hey, still... Um, burn. Abby? Also, Emma, you need to go to the doctor to check out your hearing. You didn't hear the gunshot, you didn't hear people. I just can't believe Nick would... I can't believe any of this. Yeah, I, uh... I don't think it was really Nick. She can't be gone. She can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was quick. She didn't suffer. She was dead in seconds. Oh, that's not comforting. Kevin, what? What's that's... wrong with you? Just <laughs> fix the car. How did this all get so <laughs> fucked up? I know. We're gonna get out of here soon. Okay. <laughs> Can you fix it? No. Oh. <laughs> not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it. Well, no promises, but <clears throat> if there's hope, that's where we're gonna find it. That sounds like a long shot. You know what I really like about this game? Okay, first, what I don't like about this game is that for the sake of tension or for the sake of drama, they make these characters 
really clueless. Like, Emma should have heard them. Like, they literally shouted, Jacob, Emma, are you in there? Like, they were, like, two steps away from the car. She should have heard it. You know, she was not sitting there. La, 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 la. So, um, and they have that a few times, you know, now. I think with the gunshot and with uh, different scenes where it's like, they do that to ramp up the scares or the drama of between the characters, but it doesn't make sense. It's really not logical. Even for chaotic drama queen characters, it's not logical. What I like about this game is with these reactions, you know, and also it says mean or encouraging, it <clears throat> sometimes is not what you expect, which I usually don't like with decisions, you know, but it fits with the characters. So you also have to take into consideration, so how is Caitlyn's and Emma's relationship? Or is Caitlyn the right person? Is she good at comforting people? Probably not. So, you know, it was a shit show just now. And I really like this, that they do this now and then, and it always makes sense. But it's like, oh man, I should have known because, you know, the character themselves would of course hint that they are not convincing. For example, when um, Laura tried to how is it bedazzle um, the the police officer you know by being nice to him of course he saw through that so that's I love it I love it okay uh, mean got something but no be encouraging man you you need each other kids Dylan come on look I need you <clears throat> we need you fine okay once again Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. Yeah, let's split up, because that worked so well for us last time. There's a shelter under the lodge. You should be safe there for now. All right, all right. Good luck. It's that Dylan didn't expect that in a good way, I guess? Path chosen! Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, I just like to do that. Ghost door! Spooky. Oh, it had one of those automated spring thingies. What was that? Huh? What was that? She oh, it's nothing. We got, we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. Search. I mean, I kind of said it, or theorized it, but I'm still uh, gagged. Sorry to, to use that word, you know, it's not for me, um, like, you know. But it, it really, I did not, well, I did expect it, but still, it's good storytelling. Aha, <clears throat> uh -huh, the Empress. That's, uh... Oh, but Mama is probably the Empress. So let's look around. So I guess the hunters are also um, part of the family. Rumstill. Rumstill skin? An antiquated rumstill, likely from the prohibition days. A relic of the Hackett family's past. So the hunters probably are like um, Papa and brother. This is an old still. I guess business was booming. Yeah, that's not really shocking, honestly. Um, and so they're all in it, and the hunters, they're not there to protect the kids, but rather to keep the secrets limited. And especially if one of the boys, what well, girls, um, you know, like Chris's daughter, rest in peace, um, also bit probably a few people, um, to keep it, you know, to keep those. Oh man, okay, this is a kind of, a, it's not a maze, but for me it is. Ah, another, the emperor. And he's Lance Henriksen. Oh my god, what a dream horror movie couple. To have Lance Henriksen and Lynn Shay as a couple. I'm quite sure that they are, you know, mom and pop. Oh, I mean, why did no one think of this before? This seems like f fate, you know, like the world needed it. 
Is that where the door closed? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, Laura. I'm just, you know, I'm so excited about all of this. I don't show it, you know, because I'm the broody emo guy, but I really am. Ah. Jeez. Poor kid. Head this big. <laughs> Bobby. <clears throat> oh, that's Bobby. the hunk, I guess. Isn't it? Probably. The hunk. Also, do they still sell those hats? Would I wear this? Ugh, I might. I might. Oh, I want to look further. Oh. Shit. Oh, Jesus. Why would that be louder than screaming across the room? You sure nobody else? Bye. doesn't hurt to look, I think though. we're okay. I don't think anyone hurt us. Hurt you? <gasps> oh, yeah, that's the... Jacob. Hey, it's Ryan. Jesus, what happened to you? Um. Yes. Wait, Ryan, don't. Oh, that? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Um. Jeez, Ma, what are you doing to him down there? Well, that's nothing. We're just keeping him safe, just like we've been trying to do all damn night. What, what was that? Fucking hilarious. Shut up. <clears throat> Look, you gotta get me out of here, man. How? Seriously. It's electrified. Okay, um, there's a box in the corner of the room. I think that's how they're operated, okay? I saw this old guy, under dude from the woods. He used that. Oh, but as soon as we turn that off... Why are you here, Travis? You ought to be out with the others. Like I say, we've been all night long trying to keep those kids safe. Travis, not Taylor. <clears throat> so bad with names. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's Kaylee. She's dead. <laughs> no. Boys are bringing her in right now. Now I know you got to screw loose in that cop head of yours. There ain't no way to kill her in her kind of condition. Silver bullet. She's dead, Ma. No. granddaughter, not my Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, not my little Kaylee, you goddamn piece of shit! Not my little Kaylee! God damn you! Yeah. What did you do to her? I love her so much, sorry. <laughs> I'm such a big fan. <laughs> I got full <post> goosebumps. <laughs> did you get bitten? Is she crazy? Wait! It's him! Think about it. Why would they lock him in a cage? And who the hell is it? Who the hell is she? She's in charge. It's Nick. <clears throat> you already got it wrong once. It might even be Nick. Your friend? Hey, listen. Okay. They said they've already got two of us accounted for. Whatever that means. Whoever this is, they're, they're not going anywhere. Remember? We've got to be sure. You promise. Okay. Fine. Fine. You gotta get me out of here. Okay, seriously, man. <laughs> They took it. They took it. You fucking idiot. Ma. God damn it. You fucking piece of shit. 
Get away! Get away from me! I'm quite sure it is Nick because he had like ripped clothes on. I might be wrong, but when they pushed him in, he had at least. Maybe I didn't see correctly. And I think everyone who's been werewolf for longer than a couple of months, they always take the clothes off. <laughs> because it's expensive, you know, buying a new set every single month. Help Jacob, leave Jacob. I can't... <clears throat> Is it smart? Because in the cage, Jacob might be safe. But I don't know what they do with the kids. Like, will they just let them out or not? This is really excruciating. And also, I'm super sorry I do this. I hope, I mean, if you're still watching, you probably don't care or actually enjoy it that I always use these screens to, like, elaborate a lot my thinking but you know otherwise wh what's the point of watching it if I don't explain why I choose or why it takes me a bit longer to choose so will I help him you know what but okay taking from the character's point of view we will help him because we don't know what they will do to him okay okay but you can't really turn okay. off the okay. electricity so, <laughs> all I know is you have to open my door and that door and definitely not that door Oh, cool. Thanks, Detective. Okay, fuck you, man. I'm trying to help. No, fuck you. I'm trying to Shut help. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, there's a console on the wall over there, like a box or whatever. You should be able to use those switches to isolate each cage. Okay. Hang tight. Okay, so okay. we can leave on... Oh, what does this mean? Path chosen? Doesn't make sense because it said seven five, no seven six five, and here it is one two three four. Oh my god! This is logic puzzle. No. Um. Well, how would you count it? Would you count it from the left to the right? Then the monster cage would be one. Or do you count down? Oh. And I can't get out of this. Oh, this is killing me. <clears throat> Maybe start with one in the middle because I know the monster is directly to a wall. Let's go with breaker three. Oh shit. <laughs> Is it four or one? Maybe it's two. Because I don't think that Jacob was in the, uh, like on the on the upper completely. Um, I think he was kind of in the middle. Hey, dude! Nice. All right now, don't fuck it up. Like, I don't want to get the monster out. I'm so scared because I will kill people if I if I continue and do the wrong thing. Focus, dude, focus. Why did only one open? Oh, we can still. Um, what, what did you have? <clears throat> so five, and now we need six, right? So breaker two and breaker four? 
No, wait. Um. Was that the seven with the monster in it? Why is... Oh my god, I'm completely lost. Okay, let's go with it. And this one. <laughs> I want to see the numbers. Why don't I see... Let's abandon this. <sighs> Sorry, man. I can't do it. Don't give up, you asshole. You're better off down here. What? I'm sorry, oh, he was man. three. Come on. We'll come uh, back for this. He was three. Ryan. Please, Ryan. Please do it. Okay? You don't know what to do to me. Come on. You gotta let me out. You can't let me down here. Shh. Oh, shit. I completely forgot the number, and they didn't show it again, so I didn't know the combination. Jacob doesn't like you. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> But it would have been too. Not my God, God, not, yeah. not my only granddaughter. <laughs> not my Kaylee. Not my little Kaylee. What? So, you, you had those motherfucking counselors in your goddamn jail for two whole motherfucking months, right? And you are telling me now. That instead of putting a bullet into each one of their little sorry shit stained brains, you you gave them your silver bullet gun and they shot my Kaylee with it. Is that what you are telling me now, Travis? No more blood on your hands. That's what you you, you said it. Oh my God, we are way past that now. Oh, Ma, what what if it had been me or 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 Bobby? What then? She was your family. A good boy protects his family. You ain't no good boy. I wish I could take it all back. I wish I could take it all back, but I can't. Well, I just don't, I, I don't understand why you, you, you couldn't have just taken care of the problem when you had the chance. Taking care of the problem? Do you hear yourself? Yes, I hear my goddamn self. I may be old, but I ain't deaf. I'm a police officer! Oh, so now I'm blind, you motherfucker! <laughs> now I'm blind. Oh, you just flashing that badge around like it's worth a million dollars. The only reason you got it is because Hank got killed in a gypsy fire! Ma. Don't ma! Don't ma me! Would you sit down, please? Don't you tell me what to do. Please. And don't you go around. Don't you go around like you better than everybody else, because you ain't! Would you please sit down? Don't you tell me what to do, you... Piece of shit. <sighs> Three. Yes. God damn. God damn. I'm so sorry. I'm bad with numbers and names and everything. That's factual. I'm a story person, you know. <laughs> Ryan, run! Ma, send Bobby down. <laughs> Holy shit, did not the expect that. Beauty is a tiger. Be careful, make sure that she doesn't bite. Her John Wolf had the streamer mode on for this let's play. And he thought this was like the licensed the music or whatever. Or non-licensed music. And he was outraged. But said it was really bad music. Why? It's amazing. Let's see if she's angry because Welcome back. did you miss me? Well, I did. <clears throat> Hopefully, you've bought me some more of my cards. Let's have a look, shall we? The Empress. Look at her. <laughs> Those at the top can fall the hardest. 
life such a shame to nurture little monsters only to live long enough to watch them kill you. <laughs> but it's no less than she deserves. What? The lovers. There's harmony and disagreement brought to light only by sparks of passion. Blood flows from the heart. You can almost taste it. And tasting it could save someone's life. The Wheel of Fortune. After all, fortune is nothing but a spinning wheel. Sometimes you have to take a chance. Karma works in mysterious ways, but it favors those who pay attention. Watch closely. Though the wheel spins, the eagle-eyed can tell where it's going to stop. That's why I try to be nice. Huh? The Emperor. Authority, paternity, stricter, designed to topple, you huh? know? How the mighty may fall, and their empires with them. Let them bleed. Let them rip each other apart. Let them rot. Details. No, but I really think you're the lady. You're the hack of Hackett's Quarry, and sorry, you know, hack is such a mean word for you. The choice is, and always has been, yours to me. Go. You've still got time. Be careful now. Be very careful. All right, that's it for this episode. Um, kind of angry at myself for the Jacob Cage thing because maybe if we would have had him with us, like I don't know if he gets in more danger if he's with us or if he's in the cage. Um, because I was wondering that in the first place, even before I had the whole kerfuffle with the numbers and just couldn't remember the number on Jacob's cage. Um, but I didn't want to risk accidentally opening the wrong run and just releasing the monster and killing them all, you know, because that, no, that would have been really, that would have been foolish. So I, you know, went with the middle ground, I guess. Now, I mean, one door is open now, figure it out, Jacob. <laughs> So I'm looking forward to next episode as always without any spoilers if you have comments if you saw something if you um, Have theories if you disagree with me on Something if you have favorite characters if you have characters where you're like I hate him then Put it out there in the comments. I would love to have a conversation about this game Mm, also, you know, we'll we'll see each other in the next episode, and then we'll we'll see if we can still keep almost everyone alive. I mean, so far. But you know, I know that these super massive games sometimes they have like long sections where nothing can happen, and then everything whoop explodes, and you can kill like five people at once. So you know. Be careful about all of that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And maybe see you soon. Bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.